Hi, welcome everybody. Uh, it is our May Artist of the Month, Jerry Glass, here at Works of Wyoming. Um, we're going to have him talk a little bit about the wonderful art he has for us here in Works of Wyoming. Um, Jerry, how long have you been doing your artwork? Since 1960. Since 1960. <laughs> um, so you must really enjoy the artwork that oh, you yeah. do. Oh, yeah. Uh, would you like to explain a little of what you do? Well, what I, I, my work is mostly eclectic. You know, I don't s settle on one partic particular theme. I use uh, the trains and snow whites and uh, um, um, landscapes. And uh, I used to do animals. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I haven't done an animal for quite a few years. Uh, I did uh, uh, a series of gorillas. Uh, holding rose, uh, rose, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, um, one of them, my paintings were bought in Arizona by uh, Scott Kelly, the astronaut, and uh, he was living in Houston now. So, and I've done a large four by six house fly and a uh, four by five uh, frog and a four by eight. Four by eight or ten, four by ten, uh, bring mantis, and um, uh, but I haven't done those for years. So, but uh, what I do now is mostly uh, what I, I found objects like uh, I do a uh, uh, my garden. I take ears of corn that are dried. And I've done several paintings of those and uh, artichokes. Uh, not in my garden, of course, but uh, uh, I have a big sack of those in Arizona that were all dried up, and I broke one open. They have uh, uh, four separate chambers in them, and they're all dried up and everything, and they have a nice, uh, uh, nice organic feel to them. So, Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> the media you use is it? Do you primarily just do oil, or only do you oil. only yeah. oil? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and I work on. Uh, Nice night, pretty much, because I like the, the smooth surface. And uh, uh, I have done some on canvas, but uh, I don't really like it that much. Like canvas. Yeah, and then you, you'd mentioned most of your paintings are the kind of landscape area. Do you tend mm -hmm. to focus more on landscapes in Wyoming or? Well, um, yeah, I was, I was going to school in Arizona, you know, grad school down there. and. Uh, I didn't do much landscape down there, but I took a lot of pictures, and uh, uh, and I use some of those uh, in my in my work now. And I do townscapes, you know, the uh, you know, like uh, you know, bookstores and uh, uh, areas around town around Laramie. Yeah, I love the ones you have in here of kind of the old town Laramie, yeah. where mm -hmm. you just wonder who the people were sitting in the the bookstore. Right. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. I love that. Uh, I also notice, I'm assuming you have a sweet tooth, because a few of your paintings involve taffy or peppermint candies oh, yeah. as well. Yeah. Well, I, you know, that's uh, just like a found object, you know, <laughs> you, uh, like marbles. You know, you use a lot of marbles in my paintings. and. Uh, uh, saltwater taffy that's all kinds of uh, colors there that are um, fun to use and work with. Yes. Well, is there any other thing you'd like to let our customers know about the work you do? Well, um, um, it's all for sale. <laughs> it's all for sale, yes, yeah. exactly. And uh, I enjoy doing it. You know, I, I do one, at least one painting every, every week or every two weeks and a half. Every few weeks, and uh, when I was starting out, uh, I did a lot of large paintings of uh, artichokes and uh, and, and um, pomegranates and things like that. And uh, but I, but they were large, you know, four by eight feet or four by six feet, something like that. Now I do work a, a smaller, with a smaller uh, a range, like four by or 24 by 20, something like that, and even smaller than that. 